Tires. They're the unsung heroes of the automotive world, the round rubber discs that connect us to the road, yet they often get overlooked. But think about it for a second. Every time you hop into your car, you're relying on these marvels of engineering to keep you safe, to provide you with grip, stability, and comfort. So, let's dive into the fascinating world of tires, shall we? First off, let's talk about the two main types of tires, bias ply and radial tires. Now, if you're not familiar with these terms, don't worry. Bias ply tires are the traditional type, where layers of fabric are laid at angles to each other, typically at a 30 to 40 degree angle. This construction gives them a certain stiffness, which can be beneficial for certain applications, like agricultural or vintage vehicles. They tend to have a more flexible sidewall, which can provide a smoother ride on rough surfaces. However, they do have some downsides, especially when it comes to heat buildup and tread wear. Bias ply tires are generally not as good at handling high speeds or sharp turns, which is where radial tires come into play. Radial tires, on the other hand, have a different construction. The layers of fabric are arranged radially, meaning they run perpendicular to the direction of travel. This design allows for a larger contact patch with the road, improving grip and stability. It also helps in dissipating heat more effectively, which is crucial for performance and longevity. Radial tires are the go-to choice for most modern vehicles, from sedans to SUVs, because they provide better handling, fuel efficiency, and overall performance. The difference in performance between these two types of tires is like night and day, and it's why you'll rarely see bias ply tires on anything other than specialized vehicles. Now, let's get into tire ratings. Tires come with a variety of ratings that indicate their performance in different conditions. One of the most important ratings is the UTQG, or Uniform Tire Quality Grading. This system evaluates tires based on tread wear, traction, and temperature resistance. Tread wear is rated on a scale, with higher numbers indicating longer-lasting tires. Traction is rated from AA to C, with AA being the best for stopping on wet surfaces. Temperature grades are labeled A, B, or C, indicating the tire's ability to dissipate heat. You also have load ratings, which tell you how much weight a tire can support. This is crucial for vehicles that carry heavy loads, like trucks or vans. The load index is a number that corresponds to a specific weight, so if you're hauling something heavy, you'll want to make sure your tires can handle it. And let's not forget about speed ratings. These are represented by letters, ranging from L, which is 75 mapinanor, to Y, which can handle speeds over 186 cao. If you're someone who enjoys a little spirited driving, or you just want the peace of mind that comes with knowing your tires can handle the speeds you might reach on the highway, checking the speed rating is essential. So, who manufactures the most tires? The tire industry is dominated by a handful of major players. Companies like Michelin, Bridgestone, Goodyear, and Continental are among the largest manufacturers in the world. Michelin, for instance, is known for its innovative designs and commitment to sustainability, producing tires that not only perform well, but are also environmentally friendly. Bridgestone, on the other hand, is the largest tire manufacturer globally, offering a wide range of tires for everything from passenger cars to heavy-duty trucks. Goodyear is another household name, famous for its Eagle and Assurance lines, while Continental is known for its premium tires that focus on performance and safety. But it's not just about these big names. There are also many regional and specialty manufacturers that cater to specific markets. For example, if you're into off-roading, you might look at brands like BF Goodrich or Nitto, which specialize in tires designed for rugged terrain. If you're a motorsport enthusiast, you might lean towards brands like Pirelli or Dunlop, known for their high-performance racing tires. Now, let's touch on the importance of tire maintenance. It's not enough to just buy a good set of tires, you need to take care of them, too. Regularly checking your tire pressure is crucial. Underinflated tires can lead to poor fuel efficiency and increased wear, while overinflated tires can reduce traction and lead to blowouts. And don't forget about tread depth. 
Worn out tires can be dangerous, especially in wet conditions. A simple penny test can help you determine if your tires are still safe to drive on. And let's not overlook the seasonal aspect of tires. Depending on where you live, you might need different tires for different seasons. Winter tires, for instance, are designed with special rubber compounds that remain flexible in cold temperatures, providing better grip on snow and ice. All season tires are a compromise, providing decent performance in various conditions, but may not excel in any particular one. If you live in an area with harsh winters, investing in a set of winter tires can make all the difference in your safety and comfort on the road. So, next time you get into your car, take a moment to appreciate the technology behind those tires. From bias ply to radial, from ratings to manufacturers, there's a lot more to these rubber circles than meets the eye. They're a critical part of your vehicle, and understanding them can help you make informed choices, whether you're buying new tires or just trying to keep the ones you have in good shape. Tires are more than just a necessity. They're a key player in your driving experience, and knowing a little more about them can make all the difference.